Welcome to Prime Time Debate. I'm Tamanna Anandar. The Congress has ruled out any chance of an alliance with the Aam Aadmi Party in Delhi today ahead of the Lok Sabha elections. A furious Arvind Kejriwal who leads the Aam Aadmi Party and is Delhi Chief Minister has in turn accused the Congress of a secret understanding with the BJP. But the Congress's ally troubles are not restricted to just Delhi. In West Bengal, no alliance seems to have materialized neither with the left nor with the TMC. The alliance in Maharashtra with the NCP is still in the pipeline. Uh, there are reports that uh, Raj Thakre's uh, inclusion or exclusion is a bone of contention there. The only confirmed alliance so far for the Congress is in Tamil Nadu. The BJP, meanwhile, even in the midst of ongoing tensions with Pakistan, has managed to find the time to stitch up alliances in Tamil Nadu and get their old partners, the Shiv Sena and the Akalis, on board uh, with a clear formula in Bihar uh, with the JDU as well. So why is the Congress shying away from alliances and will a series of three-cornered fight um, as uh, an effect of the Congress's lack of alliances uh, turn this into an advantage for the BJP? Uh, to speak on this, I'm joined today by a former Aam Aadmi Party leader and of course columnist uh, Ashutosh, senior journalist as well. Uh, CSDS professor and co-director of Lokniti Sanjay Kumar also joins me on the show today and I'm uh, pleased to be also joined by political analyst um, uh, Manisha Priyam. Welcome to all of you and uh, thank you for speaking with us today on Prime Time debate. I want to start by asking Ashutosh what you think happened because just a couple of days ago the Aam Aadmi Party um, announced six candidates out of the seven seats uh, in Delhi. Um, a couple of days later they're vying for a tie-up with the Congress with a 3-3 and one joint candidate formula. What really is the strategy of the Aam Aadmi Party and now this extreme anger saying that the uh, Congress has pretty much handed over a victory to the BJP? Uh, see, Tamanna, I don't see that there is a strategy on behalf of Amadi Party because uh, uh, the way Amadi Party has been behaving for the last one and, one and a half month, it's, it's, it's quite bizarre because sometimes they were saying that they want to have an alliance and they were saying that uh, we don't want to have an alliance and they were criticizing Congress Party. Uh, I can understand that there is a deep distrust between these two political parties and there is reason behind it. Uh, the two things which is, which is very... Uh, which, which looks... That um, that the way Arvind Kejriwal has reacted on the Twitter just after the announcement that the Congress Party is not interested in having any kind of alliance with uh, with the Ahmadi Party, it shows a uh, immaturity on behalf of him uh, because hiccups, ups and downs are part of the coalition negotiations. Sometimes the posturing do happen. Like uh, I I know for sure that Ahmadi Party wanted to. Uh, Congress wanted three seats. Ahmadi Party was willing to give one seat. And so there was some kind of understanding was developing between the two that probably two seats Ahmadi Party was willing to give to the Congress Party. But today, the meeting had happened and out, uh, after coming up, coming outside, uh, after the coming out, the Shiva Bichis has said no kind of alliance with Ahmadi Party. I can understand that this was, this can be uh, a pressure tactics. Because today in Delhi, if Ahmadi Party and the Congress do not come together, there's all possibility that they will split each other's vote and that will benefit uh, Bharti Janta Party. But I think Arvind Kejriwal's reaction has been uh, has been very, very, uh, very, very sad and it shows immaturity and the restlessness on his part. Okay, that's an interesting take. Um, Ashutosh is alluding that it may not be over yet for the Aam Aadmi Party and the Congress that this was just round one of negotiations. How do you see it, Manisha Priyam? So, uh, quite surprising. Uh, definitely a setback to, uh, you know, the formation of the anti-Modi forces, uh, so to say. Um, I don't know who has been, uh, you know, obstinate about not uh, seat sharing, etc. But the entire tenor momentum script, uh, which was written by Chandra Babu Naidu, which was being written by Mamta Banerjee, which was being written by uh, Akhilesh Yadav and Mayawati, I don't think uh, the Amadmi party uh, was out of that script. So that entire script was of coming together, notwithstanding serious long-time differences. Uh, nothing could have been more unexpected than Akhilesh Yadav and Mayawati coming together. So that was the definition of the political moment, so to say. Now, even if the Delhi seats or the Punjab seats between Amadmi party and the Congress may have been few in number, 
it's the definition of the political moment that has clearly slipped out with this uh, uh, type of forging of alliance. Uh, remember, this is a time that notwithstanding matters of state, defense, external affairs, and, and a real uh, war-like situation with Pakistan, the BJP was losing nothing on the political front, and it went on to stitch its alliances, whether it was with the Shiv Sena or with the AIE DMK uh, in Tamil Nadu. Uh, so the BJP has had no issues uh, stitching alliances even until the nth moment any day now uh, elections can be uh, announced the, the EC will announce the schedule for the next general elections and I think the last big political announcement before the elections come is that the Congress and the Ahmadbi party have not uh, gone uh, for an alliance so that's as far as the making of the big moment is concerned I would also say that on the ground the Ahmadbi party had wrested Delhi from the Congress party, clearly a resurgent Congress party and an Ahmadbi party would be battling it out in Delhi for the same space of votes and on the ground it would be advantage BJP in electioneering even from the word go because the momentum has been lost. Uh, so I would say that in terms of the big political moment, the grand narrative, a real miss, in terms of the minutiae of the politics, micro politics on the ground, now Arvind Kejriwal will really have to, and his party will have to waste his time now talking anti-Congressism uh, at the time of the general elections. So uh, see how difficult it's going to be for Arvind Kejriwal especially to navigate. He won't be able to be a part of the big narrative that might be formed against Narendra Modi-led BJP central government at this point of time, the incumbent government against which the alliances are being stitched up by regional forces. Yeah, you know, but um, the interesting thing in this is, and let me bring in Sanjay Kumar here, that the Congress's wariness to form alliances is not restricted just to Delhi. Um, one can, for some amount of time, even understand why the Congress has a problem with Aam Aadmi Party. There's a checkered history. They formed a government together. Then, you know, they both felt betrayed by the other. But uh, the Congress has not managed to stitch up an alliance uh, and, you know, figure out seats sharing etc uh, in in uh, Maharashtra uh, till now um, yeah, you know except for Tamil Nadu really nowhere not uh, no seats uh, have been announced in Bihar West Bengal is still a maze um, no one knows what's happening in Uttar Pradesh Akhilesh keeps saying every other day that Congress is still part of the alliance um, do you think that the Congress is wary because it is looking beyond 2019 uh, there's really no great hope of forming a government in 2019 and now it's a fight for survival for the Congress in all of these states and they don't want to cede ground to um, their opponents. No. I think there are two confusions within Congress. One is whether they should look for a long-term strategy or for a short-term strategy. For the short-term strategy, yes, it is important for the Congress to form alliances in dif with different regional parties in different states. But I think the big problem is about whether Congress should be conceding more seats to the regional party and also the other problem is with regard to the benchmark of how do you work out the seat, seat sharing formula. While regional parties, most of the regional party would cite 2014 election as the benchmark and that was the problem in UP and that is the problem in many other states as well. Like we were discussing Ahmadmi party and Congress uh, unable to form an alliance. So the regional party offered the benchmark of 2014 election and we should remember that in 2014 election Congress did very badly in most of the states. Congress would like to offer the formula of 2009 and they would say this is the real election so any seat sharing formula should, be, should uh, consider the 2009 performance of Congress party. That's a matter of big dispute. That's a matter of dispute between Samajwadi party and uh, BSP when it comes to their forming an alliance with Congress. So the whole problem is Congress still thinks Congress is the you know, biggest opposition party, uh, a party which is opposing BJP at the national level. Congress thinks that this is a party which people look forward to as a national alternative to BJP. Even if they're, you know, if, even if they have not performed well in 2014, but they should be getting larger number of seats, whether it is in Delhi or in, or if not larger number of seats, but at least a sizable number of seats because they are the national party. I think this is a matter of dispute between Congress and other regional party, whether it is in Delhi or in UP or in Maharashtra and we can keep 
taking names of different states where Congress has not been able to form an alliance. So then the next follow-up question to that, Mr. Sanjay Kumar, is that what does this mean for the BJP? Have they hit the, uh, you know, hit a home run with this? Uh, if uh, um, the opposition vote is split, then is this a walkover for them? Yeah, it's a very short answer from my side. It's all advantage BJP. If Aam Aadmi Party and Congress do not form an alliance in Delhi, I think my own sense would be all seven seats to BJP. This is the case wherever there would be a three-way contest. In whichever state there is a three-way contest, it is all advantage BJP. And then Congress will not be able to, you know, will not be able to emerge as a party which Congress is hoping to emerge in 2019. So it's advantage BJP in, wherever, in whichever state there is a three-way contest. Yeah, Ashutosh, I want you to come in uh, on this because this is a very interesting, um, you know, sort of dilemma that uh, Sanjay Kumar has described within the Congress. Uh, short-term interests uh, versus long-term interests. In the short term, uh, the party wants to be the galvanizing force to keep the yeah. BJP out. But in the long term, it's fighting for its own survival. See, I, I do agree with, with Sanjayji what he's saying, but the fact is that uh, Congress is, is not realizing that if uh, Mr. Modi comes back again in 2019, then uh, there will be a serious existential crisis for the Congress party and especially Rahul Gandhi, because uh, Modi is one, one person, one politician who doesn't uh, like to spare anybody. And if uh, Rahul Gandhi has emerged in the last uh, seven, eight months as a potential threat to, uh, to, to Mr. Modi outside BJP, then uh, if he comes back, his first priority will be to finish Rahul Gandhi politically. And so, before 2019, if the Congress doesn't show any kind of desperation, which it should have seen, he, he, the, the party should have realized that what kind of danger they are facing, uh, then uh, there is a serious problem. And I, I fully agree with, with Sanjay ji. Uh, the fact is, in, in, in Delhi, the Congress is not allying with Ahmadi party, if our Congress is not conceding ground to Ahmadi party, then all the seven seats... Uh, can go to BJP. That that's a reality which is staring at their at their face. And the, in a in a contest which is supposed to be uh, BJP touching uh, probably the majority numbers, if uh, putting all his guns, if we firing all his guns together, uh, in that case every seat will matter. And these seven seats, if uh, Congress and Ahmadi Party cannot come together, then these seven seats will cost them very very badly. Uh, uh, I, I sooner they realize it's better. And that's what I'm saying. Even the Arvind Kejriwal has been very, very immature by writing on the Twitter. He should not have done that. In coalition politics, such things do happen. Hiccups do happen. Ups and downs do happen. And there comes the situation where it, it looks like the, both the political parties are not willing to, to form an alliance and finally they end up uh, doing an alliance. Um, uh, Manisha Priyam, just your take on what the Congress must, strategy I seems to be. Yes, uh, yes, Sanjay. one line. Yes. No, no, I was saying, and on the other hand, if Ahmadmi Party and Congress manage to form an alliance in Delhi, it would be a complete reversal. All the seven seats BJP will lose. That's the potential of this alliance. But I don't understand why they don't fail, why they fail to understand this potential of the alliance. If they form an alliance, BJP will is all set to lose all seven seats in Delhi. Uh, uh, Manisha Priyam, is the pro problem one of uh, leaderships uh, on a part of the Congress and the Ahmadi Party or the Congress specifically since we're talking about them, uh, where there seems to be the sense that I am a national party and I want to uh, stay in public perception at a cut above the rest? No, no, there is no doubt that the Congress is a national party. At this point of time, the Aam Aadmi Party has been able to wrest uh, the, the city-state of Delhi uh, from the Congress Party, no doubt about that. Uh, the Aam Aadmi Party has also uh, got some foothold in Punjab. They had a lot of field strength, but they didn't win as many seats, but definitely had some foothold in the Lok Sabha and the State Assembly elections. So at this point of time, if the Aam Aadmi Party wants to uh, talk to the Congress saying that you support me to fulfill my national ambitions as well as state ambitions and allow me to expand at your expense, do you think the Congress Party will sit and do this kind of a discussion? Not possible. In a state such as Bihar, for example, where the Congress is out in the cold, out in the dumps, you know, Lalu Yadav still dictates terms to the Congress party. 
and the Congress party has to stand at the beckoning literally of that regional partner. But clear between that regional partner, partner and the Congress party that the state level politics, the Rajan Datre is dictated by the RJD, the national politics is dictated uh, by the Congress party. Now it doesn't make the Congress superior or anything like that. The fact is that this is how that coalition has been built around. Mr. Lalu Yadav is not expected to be the Prime Minister of India and therefore he has to concede that ground. Now for the Aam Admi party therefore, a party that is at this point neither a pan-India party nor is expected to be the main bulwark of opposition to the BJP, I do not know and I do not understand what the principles of negotiation were. And certainly here Mr. Arvind Kejriwal needs to take lessons from many other regional powers on the ways in which he's and Arvind Kejriwal is still at seat level negotiations. He is not even at a power sharing negotiation so to say. So he needs to be clear on what is the future ahead and he needs to also understand as to what is the negotiating scope that exists with the Congress party. I know definitely that there have been a lot of back channel discussions that have happened but at this point of time the Aam Admi party has not been able to scale itself <coughs> to a third front leader or something like that. So they need to wait it out. Politics has turns, politics has chances. Who knew for example that the uh, Sadakat Ashram in, in Patna for example wouldn't be able to revive itself as the headquarters of the Congress post the 1990s. I mean that's a state where uh, Indira Gandhi had some of her most loyal chieftains coming from whether it be in the form of the most important Dalit leader Jagjeevan Ram or the most important Brahmin leader called no, Lalit so, Narayan so, Mishra. Are you, so there are, are do you agree? and do you agree? of politics. The winner is somebody who waits it out. Yeah, do you agree, Manisha Priyam, with what uh, Ashutosh was alluding to, that it's not all over yet for the AAP Congress story, that uh, uh, this was round one of negotiations, or has the bitterness gone too far for another attempt? So, Ashutosh, Ashutosh ji is referring to both things at one go. He is also critiquing the fact that somebody went to Twitter and should not have been done. So, the fact is, that this does seem to be a situation that there is a possibility of critique but I don't know whether the person concerned here, Mr. Arvind Kejriwal, was he authorized to be the sole uh, discussant on the table, were there back channels, is there a scope for him to go back, are there people other than Mr. Rahul Gandhi who do not want this coalition to happen, uh, if they want then what is their interest vis-a-vis -vis the Congress party. Now with this event today, all of this will go down to the wire and the chatteratai you will soon see that the BJP and rightly so you will see the next few national level electioneering meetings that will happen the BJP will use this to speak somewhere in some part of the country and say look this is what the Gat Bandhan is like it's already been called the Mahathag Bandhan and Maha Milawat or whatever else and you will see now the new uh, kind of uh, political strike back in terms of the language and the narrative that will be done in some remote part of the country. So that does erode the faith of the people in voting for their regional parties as an opponent to the BJP at the center. And this is clearly advantage BJP and therefore even if the alliance had not worked out, certainly the political noise making should have been modest, moderate, perhaps should not have come out in the open. Absolutely. Uh, thank you so much uh, for joining us today and analyzing the situation as it unfolds. Uh, uh, Ashutosh, Sanjay Kumar and of course uh, Manisha Priyam. Uh, no AAP Congress uh, alliance on the cards for now, but the Congress's problem with alliances goes far beyond Delhi, uh, in effect uh, handing a leg up and an advantage to the BJP.